Welcome back to Real Sports Live. The Salt Lake Stallions are four games into their inaugural season. That's right, and joining us in studio to talk about life in the AAF, former Ute star and Stallions wide receiver, Kaylin Clay, returning to your old stomping grounds. Yes, That's got to be pretty cool to play at Rice Cycles That's again, good. where 2014 led the nation in kick returns for touchdowns. What's it been like coming back to Utah? Oh, man, it's been great. Um, you know, for me, I was only here for that one season, so for me to come back and, uh, you know, have that opportunity to play in Utah, a place that I really do love. I love, I love this place, and so um, to see the support that we've gotten um, from the fans, you know, it's incredible, So, and I'm enjoying it, so it's exciting. There's a lot of Utah players on the Salt Lake Stadiums, yeah, as well as BYU, Utah yeah. State. How are you yeah. getting along with some oh, of the Yankees, the, the, hey, the it's, Cougars? It's all family now. Yeah. You know, <laughs> it's all family. You know, we're all fighting for one goal, but... Uh, you know, every now and then we do have to let them know. <laughs> that, won the games that in college. That's right. That There's more is. youths than Cougars on the team too, right? Correct. So you Correct. outnumber them. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Just like the wins and losses. Now you've been. To the <laughs> <laughs> I gotta get that in there. Now well, you've played at the highest levels. I mean, four yeah. years in the NFL, you have a couple of touchdowns um, with the Ravens and with the Panthers as well. Um, obviously, the AAF is not the NFL, mm -hmm. but how far off is the talent level? I mean, a lot of these guys have major college and NFL mm -hmm. experience, right? Uh, it's, it's not far at all, you know. It may be a little bit slower um, than the NFL, but like you said, these guys are NFL caliber guys who have been on rosters um, and just unfortunately didn't get that chance to showcase their talents. And so, um, you know, it's not too far off, man. The game speed is pretty fast, and yes. you know, and, and it's it's um, it's exciting. So, you know, I'm lo I'm loving it. Your head coach Dennis Erickson said uh, at one of his press conferences that a lot of a couple of players are here for the love of the game. Mm -hmm. Others are you know trying to get back to the NFL or trying to get seen by the NFL. Your situation? Oh uh, man, I'm, uh, I'm I'm still going, man. You know, <laughs> my body is still allowing me to do the things that I wanted to do, and so, and I feel like I have the capabilities to get back to the NFL. So, you know, that's my main goal, and you know, every day, um, every day I'm pushing for that goal and and, to get back there. And he said, like every snap, you guys are being evaluated oh, every, by someone, every, somebody every in, snap, in the you know, league or the NFL, right? Yeah, every snap. You know, this um, this game is so. All the little minute things matter, you know. Every little thing matters, and so you got to be on your game every play. You got to be able to take. You got to be serious every play, you know, because you are trying to get back to the NFL. Now there are some rule changes between the NFL right. and the yeah. AAF. What's your favorite uh, rule change? Is it the uh, you got to go for two every time? Is uh, that no onside <laughs> kick? Is it that they can only no. rush five guys at a time? Uh, or all maybe, of them? Maybe the maybe the blitz. You know, yeah. the, them not only being able to rush five guys, right. and so. Um, offenses are offenses are able to scheme it, uh, plays up a little bit differently because you know you only have five sure. rushing and so um, you know now you know the games are coming from the front and so it makes it a little bit easier but you still got to execute and you played as a wide receiver and a return specialist is return specialist your niche to get back to the NFL do you think? Um, yeah I feel like that is where I will initially be evaluated at but um, you know I still believe that I can showcase my talents as nice an NFL skills, right? yeah. 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 Now, uh, you know, this is a new league. There's going to be some bumps along mm -hmm. the way, but just your experience. You've only been with these guys for uh, you know a couple of months now, including yeah. training camp. How has this league kind of developed, and why do you have confidence that it's going to be around for a few years to, uh, to stay? Um, I believe uh, Charlie Ebersole did a great job of yeah. marketing this this league. You know him. Um, and his and his team, his staff, you know, they're doing a great job of helping us as players be more than just football players. And so um, they have a great foundation, and I believe that you know, the more years and the more experience that we have and that this league uh, has, and the more media coverage that it has, it will grow tremendously. How bizarre was it though to be part of the Salt Lake Stallions? But you were in San Antonio, right? <laughs> yeah, what, yeah that, five weeks or something. Yeah, we were there. Uh, we were there for. <laughs> we were there for. We hadn't even been here, and I didn't do I yeah. didn't do the mini camp, and so um, yeah, being in San Antonio for I think it was six or seven weeks, oh, you know, man. it was wow. it was pretty gruesome, but you know, uh, we handled it pretty well, you know, we, you know, that's part of being a, uh, you know, NFL athlete, you know, sudden change, you got to be able to go do what you got to do on a fly and so I can think I think we did a pretty good job now since you are one of the locals so to speak yeah. you spent a full year here are you kind of you and Trevor and Anthony Denham and Trevor Riley and some other guys like tour guides for the guys who had uh, no Utah experience yeah because everybody's like man where do we go where do we go so, <laughs> you know we're taking them places you know trying to get them out you know the weather hasn't been uh, <laughs> right. nice to us the last couple of days but, you uh, thawed out from last night though I yes, see that yes. still got the I, jacket yes, on yes, 
so little. That was cold one last night. That looked bad. Like, yeah, it was. It wasn't as bad though. It was. It was cold, but it wasn't as cold as as I thought it would be. It's gonna warm up, right? I mean, the season goes for another few months. So. Yeah, hopefully it gets a little warmer. How good can you guys be? You're one and three right now. A couple yes. bad breaks, but mm -hmm. how good can the Stallions no, be? We're we're a great team, you know. If you watch us on film, you know we're a very physical team. You know, I don't believe any team has out physical us in any aspect of the game. I think for us, we just have to be able to finish games. You know. Um, Get rid of the small mistakes and, you know, everything will be great, you know. But we're not playing bad football. We're just not finishing games. Good luck. He's the man, Kalen Clay. Good, Good to see you back in town, you. man. Appreciate I hope you get you. back to the NFL. Thank and you. right now, go check them out with the Stallions. I mean, they got an exciting team to watch and it's an exciting league. All right, we got to step aside for just a minute. But coming up, we're going to crown a couple of high school basketball state champions. Go inside the mayhem from last night's title games when we come back.